How are you guys doing? Let me let you look at something. See? This is a parking lot. During my day, during the old man rent days, these parking lots used to be full of cars and you couldn't find anywhere to park, especially during Christmas time. I got a CVS, I have a big lot. I have a couple of, I have a martial arts place, eyelash place, and another hair salon. Not too many people are here. And I don't know, do, do we blame it on Amazon for making parking lots bad? Uh, do I blame it on the cashier who works at the Macy's who doesn't want to serve me? It's just a sign of the times. Hey, I, I didn't make fulfillment centers. Calvin and I worked in a fulfillment center when I was younger, which was like actually a warehouse. We made parts for Petavita Mold and Dye. We did springs, but we were helping the economy. We were sending parts out for people to put in the cars and manufacture cars to give uh, extra security to the person who hold the cars, because especially in some of your neighborhoods, you know some of you driving these Beamers and these Audis and San Bernardino and Hemet, you know, roo, 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 roo. that alarm better go off and they taking your gas and they taking your money, man. So, but now all we have are just warehouse jobs and we have YouTube jobs, but if you take, let's go, let's go back. Uh, back in the old man days, back when I was younger, I remember I used to sneak out to Hollywood because I had discovered my father's porn magazine. So he's in a Marine. So he had this big bag of Hustlers, Playboy, and all kind of magazines. So that's my first introduction to porn. So then after a while, you start watching, reading through, you say, hmm, this is from like 1978, 1979. I wonder if there's any, if, if there's more up to date porn for me to look at. So, and I remember first I went to the liquor store. There was a time I used to go to the liquor store and steal porn. I'd go in there, roll up the magazines, put them in my pants, and then sneak out the, the sneak out the liquor store, man. I think I just when I introduced the hustler. Uh, that's when the, the rabbit one came out and some other ones I got introduced to. High Society I got introduced to. So that was my introduction to porn. And then from there, like, you only got the simple porn. But then you could upgrade your porn to, like, the more explicit one. Now I had to sneak into the real porn stores, 18 and over in Hollywood. Now, cut to 2019, all you have to do is like go online. And if you go into my other subjects where I'm talking about how to have an affair without getting caught, one thing I recommend for you to do is to turn to porn. Yes, Martin, why turn to porn? Well, that's a way for you just to escape, do what you got to do. And then your partner doesn't get bugged because she's not doing or he's not doing something they don't like. And then after that, you go about your business. Hey, honey, let's keep the message going. Otherwise, 47% of people are divorced after seven years. 20% of married people are separated after five years. How many broken homes are out there? If you could just, honey, just use the porn, do what you got to do, because I don't want to do it. And then... Let's just kind of keep the relationship together. Otherwise, what do we have? Single moms? Mostly. You know, I know the guys are, there's very few single guys who are trying to take care of the kid. There are some, but I know that the guys are lazy. So, but now if you check, cut the porn now, all you got to do is just go online, man. Just go online and there's, you got hot movies, you have foreign porn, you got cartoon porn. It's crazy, man. And this is all you do is like, Plug, all you have to do is like at a touch of a button, you get the porn. You, you, at a touch of a button, you get the porn. And it's, it's just there for you. It's like, it's, it's crazy, man. But I just think it's funny because I'm like, what do you think caused the decline in the retail stores? Like, what do you think caused these big parking lots to be empty? Why when I drive by, I see warehouses? You know why? Because people are too smart. Technology is smart. What the AI taught you was they try to predict everything, calculate all the stuff that people do. But what the AI didn't calculate was for the dumb person. The dumb person who works in sales. The dumb person like me that calls you up and says, hey, this is Martin. Would you sponsor my business trip to Vegas? Or, you know, like the Mormons who come to your door knocking, hey, we would like, just can, can, you, can we talk to you a few minutes about our religion? 
And he'd be, hey, this is the weekend. You shouldn't talk to me. Or, hey, don't you see a do not disturb sign or no soliciting? You're like, yes, I saw it, sir. But even though the sign is out there, hey, let me show you some ways to help you make money. Because you know what you have today, based on technology, will be obsolete tomorrow. Or there'll be another way of causing a consumer to buy. So don't you want to be on the cutting edge where like, hey, you're kind of taking advantage of the way people buy? Because unfortunately, now we're in a country that just buys. Very few. You have YouTube, Facebook, Internet advertisers, salespeople who try to help businesses come up. But no one knows how to sell. Everyone thinks they can go online and make a video or, get, or go buy an influencer. But. You just have to know how to walk up to a person. For example, today I was in the city of Hemet working a job, talking to people. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, hey, sir, can you help me? Oh, yes, let me show you how to do this. Oh, sir, is the parade still going? Oh, yeah, the parade is still going. Let me show you where to go. If people see like you're a person that at least has a little bit of common sense and can answer a question, you're going to be a millionaire today. But you know what you have to be? You got to be dumb. You know what I mean by being dumb? You got to keep asking and keep following up even when you think they've forgotten. So in my day, there was no such thing as emails. Like now you get hit hit by emails. You get hit by still the regular mail. And not counting the people that come up and sell you. So you got messages coming to you everywhere. The only way to make money today is you, basically you got to be annoying. You got to just keep following up and following up till that person says, Okay, let me see what you got, Martin. And then you show them what you got. Like porn, for example, you realize, and there's like uh, Harry Flint and Hugh Hefner, they were like the pioneers of porn. There was a time porn was illegal. Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, all these strippers, you know, in my old man days, they were called prostitutes or herrets or something. Now they're mainstream. Women have the long nails copying Cardi B. They want to have the big butts like Nicki Minaj. That is the influence of strippers. These are strippers. I remember I used to go to a strip bar next with Martin, my neighbor. We went to a strip bar, Bellflower and Artesia Boulevard. That was my first introduction to a strip club in the U.S. Before I went to Japan and Mexico. And you spent money, got the girl strip. Hey, that was a great way to have an affair because you go to the strip bar. Oh, I almost gave away a secret. Don't forget what I just said. Remember, the secret number one from how to have an affair, if you look at my videos, porn. You say, why use porn? Because it just allows you to just do what you got to do, get your fetishes out the way, clear it out, then go back to relationship. You say, honey, I didn't cheat. I didn't do anything bad. I just had to get something that, that you said, you know, until death do us part with our marriage fails. You're not delivering on your end. So I just went out. I'm back. Let's do it and forget about it. I'm not going to bug you about hanging out with your friend who I don't like. You don't bug me about doing something to keep the relationship strong. They're both for irritating but necessary evils. So, but I remember now you got Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, like my sweetie, I think is also a stripper. So, porn is like mainstream. People want to be porn stars. I mean, just think like the old man day, you know. The only way to get it, I've had like seven videos, seven people view my video on how to have an affair without getting caught. What's so funny is, you know, back in the old days, I have to rent out a studio for like $10,000, have a person with a camera, have all these, have all this equipment up just to get my message out to the world. Now, this is being beamed out to the world. I don't know how many people are going to see it. But that's how much technology has changed. So what you have to be now is you got to be dumb. What do you mean by being dumb? How to read a book, how to be annoying, how to talk to strangers, how to track your money and not spend all your money on expensive cars, how to not do drugs, even though weed is legal, you don't need to be taking any weed. So that's what I want you guys to think about. Martin wants you to be dumb. When I be say be dumb, be the dumbest person in the room. I want everybody to be smart. I want everyone to have the faster car than you. I want everyone to have the biggest house than you. And then you can just go talk to them and just say, hey, Martin, what are you doing to be successful? Hey, Martin, what can I do to help you out? Bang. Be desperate, man. People aren't desperate, man. That's what I learned from Grant Cardone. Be desperate. I need your money. I need your money. Otherwise, I don't get no honey and I end up on the street. 
It's like, you got to be like porn, how porn became mainstream and strippers became mainstream. Got a pound, pound, not, not, uh, pa, I don't mean pow, 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 I mean pound, pound until that person says, okay, you are the most persuasive. What can you do to help me be successful? So the only way you be that is be dumb. Even if they hit you upside the head, no, 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 no. I agree, no, but I got to be dumb. I got to keep going on like Martin says. So the theme of today be dumb and watch my how to have an affair video and what can you do to help me get to a thousand subscribers so i can go live i want i need to go live and i want you guys to take a look at my video give me some comments let me know do you think it's smart to be dumb in a society that's full of smart technological people or you think you're going to be smart to get ahead